Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you on how to use GPT Quiz Generator for Google Forms. So starting off, you want to create a new Google Forms. So I have created mine and I will use GPT Quiz Generator to make questions about World War One. So starting off, you want to download the add-on. So you're going to head to the three dots at the top right and then click get our add-ons. And then from here, search up GPT Quiz Generator and it should be right here. And after you do that, you want to click on install. And once you have installed the add-on, you want to head to the puzzle piece at the top and then click on GPT Quiz Generator. From here, you want to click on Start. And this window should pop up. This is where we will be generating our questions. So to begin generating our questions, first you need information. So you need to find some information about the topic you want your questions to be generated by. So my topic is World War I. So I have found a PDF which contains enough information for me to actually generate some questions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the information I want the generated questions to be on. So I'm going to highlight this part of the text, copy it, and then paste it to the add text to generate questions tab. I'm going to paste it here. And once I have done that, if we look to the right, this worry will be modifying the type of questions we want so over here at the drop bar we got multiple choice we got check boxes or a drop down so i want my questions to be a multiple choice question and i and in question count is where you'll be adding how many questions you want on your actual quiz so i want there to be seven questions and the answers count is how many options there'll, there will be so the amount of options I want is three and the correct amount of answers will be one. So one option will be the correct answer. Right now, we only have one as the correct answers. We're still working on more correct answers, but for now, we only have one. And after you do that, you want to click on generate questions. And as soon as you click on that, if you go to the result generated questions, it will automatically make the questions based on the information you provided in your text. So as you can see, let's count since we had a question count of seven, as you can see, question one, question two, question three, question four, all the way to seven. And as you can see, we got three options right here and it shows us the correct answer. So at the bottom of every question, they, it will show the correct answer. And if you want to change up the options, you want to change them yourself, you can easily do that by just, for example, I want to change option A, and I just want to make it fighting. You can do that as long as you don't delete the A, B, C. So you can change the option text, you can't change the letter of the option. And once I have changed my option i'll just head back to add questions to form and then click on it again and now it should be updated and we also got restore from history this is where your history will be so as you can see i got my information right here so just in case for example if i delete my generated questions and i need to restore them i'll just click on this and it'll restore for me automatically and if you hover over your history, it will show you the additional information. So as you can see, we got the type, which is multiple choice, which is what I chose. The question count is seven. The answer count is three. And it took it 13 seconds to generate the question itself, which is actually really fast because by doing this manually by yourself will be it will take a lot of time it will be a lot easier for you to just gather the information paste it here and just click generate and it will automatically generate the questions based on the information you provided and we also got the tokens so for the demo limit we have 8000 tokens and it used 1,198 tokens. So it can use up to 8,000 tokens per generated question. And now if I close out of this fully, as you can see, it has automatically placed it in my form. So all I have to do is just delete this and my World War I form is completely ready. If you want to add your own user API key, 
you just want to head back to add-ons click on gpt quiz generator and from here you just click on user api key once you do that a small window will pop up and over here you can just paste your own api key for your own tokens and just a note your your api key is only private to you it's never public to anyone and we do not store it anywhere in our systems and if you have a different a google form file which you want to actually put your generated questions on all you have to do is head over to the load text from google docs and select any folder for example i got the root folder and once you have selected the folder you want to select the certain file where you want to put your generated questions in so i'm just going to select this and once you have done that you're just going to do the same thing just load text and it will automatically generate the questions into the file that you have selected.